Today I just want to answer the question is, can a regular old incandescent light bulb, one with a filament like this one, run off of DC volts? Today we're just going to go ahead and find out. So this is going to be the light bulb that I'm testing today. It's pretty much the same as this one right here, it just doesn't have the foggy exterior. I just wanted one where you can actually see the filament, it looks a little bit cooler on camera. If you can see the filament actually, I jiggle it around in there, it's like a little spring kind of welded to the little terminals and the ends of it and you can see it kind of jiggle around. Usually these run off of AC in America around 120 volts AC alternating current and today we're going to be testing it on AC and DC just to see if it will work on DC. And That's pretty much a, a tungsten filament inside of there and it's just tungsten because it is such a high melting point that it's not going to just burn up instantly from the crazy amount of heat that it's emitting because it gets that metal glowing hot to actually emit all of that light which is pretty cool in itself. So first thing is Got the little light bulb socket here. We're going to be using that. And then the next thing is I got my multimeter here. First we're going to make sure that this is putting out AC. I'll put my little leads in. Just like that. Set this back down to zero. Around nine volts and this is reading AC. Around 30, 40. And it's going to top off around like 124, so a little bit more than wall outlet power right there. Take just the light bulb, I'm going to fit it in the little hole, and obviously it's working just like that. And this is on a Variac variable power AC power supply, so you can see it's kind of cool, you can adjust the brightness of it. The next thing is we're going to plug in my little DC rectifier and uh, try it on some DC volts. So here's my little DC rectifier right here. I have it set up so it's just on a regular plug, which I do like. I'm just going to go and plug that in there. I do have multimeters on here as well, or meters on here, not a multimeter. You can kind of see the voltage moving. And again, I'm going to take out the multimeter, and I'm going to be testing it to make sure that it's DC volts. I'm going to set it to DC. I have these labeled here, the positive, the negative. If you can see, it's starting to put out some DC voltage right here, around 17, 25, 40, 70, 90, and about 110 volts. All right, I'm just going to take this, set it back just a little bit, take my light bulb, I'm going to plug it in here, make sure it's got a good connection, set it down just like that. I'm going to go ahead and power the Variac. I'll go ahead and hold this a little bit and right now there's like no volts going in it but I'm going to slowly bring it up and this is going to be some DC volts in there. We're just going to see if it actually lights it up. You can see a little glow. And just like that, that actually works. It works pretty much just the same as AC. I find that super interesting and I just wanted to share with you all. You can get an incandescent light bulb to work on DC as well as AC. I think that's pretty cool.